All right, welcome back to Definite Fiction, and welcome to part two of the three-part series on making a Premier League score bug. Uh, in part one, we created the spreadsheet that you are looking at in this video. We are going to add a text box to display the half and write a few macros to make it easier to update the score bug. Uh, then we will um, bring the score bug into OBS and green screen out the background to make it look nice and cool. Okay, to add the half, we need to enter first in the half cell. Then we will insert a text box. And change the font to match the other elements in the score bug. We will change the font color to white and then select the same Source Sans Pro Black font face. Now position the text box by dragging the text box above the score bug and then uh, using the arrow keys make fine adjustments. Now it's time to get into the Visual Basic Editor to write some macros. Now on the Developer tab, select Visual Basic to open the Visual Basic Editor. Select Insert and then click Module. Our first macro will be to add a score to the home team. To create a macro, type Sub and then the macro name. You want to use something descriptive without any spaces and then open and close parentheses. In sub will automatically be added. Between a sub and in sub is where the code goes. We need to know which cell the home team score will go in. Uh, for this spreadsheet, it is cell C10. Type range, parentheses, quote, C10, quote, in uh, close parentheses, dot value equals that same range, range C10 dot value. Plus one. And uh, that is all. For our next macro, we're going to copy and paste this first macro. Then we will change home to away in the macro name. And we need to update the cell references. The away score is in the row below the home score, so we will simply need to change C10 to C11 in two places. Now we can test these macros by clicking macros in the developer tab. Select one of the macros and click run. We have added a goal to the away score. We will repeat the process to test the other macro. Now we are going to add a rectangle shape to the spreadsheet to create buttons to run each macro. Then we will control C and control V to duplicate the rectangle and position this copy. Uh, right click the first rectangle and select assign macro. Select the Add Home macro and click OK. Repeat the process for the other rectangle with the Add Away macro. Now we can run each macro by clicking on the rectangle. In order to copy one of these rectangles to create a button for the macro that will change half, we will need to right click the rectangle to select it and control C and control V to copy and paste. We will drag this into place. Now we need to write a new macro. Give this macro a new name. The code for this macro will be an if then statement. Uh, this is a bit more complex than the first two macros, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, our target cell is C12. Type if range parentheses quote C12 quote close parentheses dot value equals and then in parentheses first, then oops, the end quote. Um, we will copy and paste the range reference. So if the cell value is first, we want to change the value to second. Uh, 
uh, we'll copy and paste this range reference and type else if paste the range reference and type then paste again and we'll change the second to OT for overtime we'll finish the if then statement by typing else pasting the range reference and change the second to first finally type end if on the next line Back on the spreadsheet, right click the third rectangle and select assign macro and our new macro. Now we can click the button to select among first, second, and OT. We need to center the half text in the text box. All right, now it's time to add our score bug to OBS. Open OBS. You will want to run OBS as the administrator if that option is available to you. And in this case, I'm already using OBS to screen record. So I'm getting a pop-up asking if I want to run a second instance. You probably won't be getting this. Um, I already added a scene set up with a display capture and window capture for Excel going to delete that we will start with a new scene click the plus sign in the scenes section and give your new scene a name anything descriptive is fine uh, click the plus sign in the sources section and select window capture Give this source a descriptive name, click OK. The Excel score bug may or may not automatically appear. If it doesn't, select Excel.exe in the window drop down and click OK. All right, now we're going to crop the score bug and then remove the green color. But first, we need to add a background image so that what we're doing makes visual sense. In the sources section, click the plus sign and then select image, give it a name and click OK. Select browse and navigate to a suitable background image. I have some Hubble telescope images on my computer, so I'll just use one of those. Select an image and click OK. I'm going to stretch this image to cover the OBS canvas and then drag the image below the score bug in the sources section. In order to be able to control the score bug, we need to be able to see Excel and OBS. So we'll click the header for OBS and drag it to the right to snap it to the right half of the screen and select Excel to fill the left half of the screen. We don't need Excel to occupy that much screen real estate. So we can resize it by hovering over the edge of the application windows. Now we can select Excel in OBS, hold down the Alt key, and click one of the side square handles to crop on edge. Uh, make sure the green background is touching the edge of the window. Now we're going to repeat that process for each side of the Excel window. All right, now we will select filters below the display window in OBS and click the plus sign below effect filters. Select chroma key and click OK. The default settings may be perfect depending on the non-green colors in your score bug. Uh, you can make adjustments beginning with similarity. You want the background area to appear black without impacting the colors of the score bug elements. Now we can drag the score bug into position. I'm going to add a filter to the background image to add brightness and hopefully make it easier to see the score bug.
Uh, if you want, you can select the score bug and resize it. Uh, if you try to make it too big, you'll lose some of the sharpness. It's only a certain amount of resolution um, available. Uh, that's it for this video. All right, in Excel, you can click the buttons to adjust the score or half. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, look out for part three where we get fully enveloped in macros and create a novel timer that counts up. If you've learned something in this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.